Good morning. It is October 25th. And I don't know if this is going to be the beginning of a labor vlog or what, but um, yesterday I ended up tripping and falling. I didn't fall. I mean, I guess I did. I didn't hit the ground. I fell into my counter and the front of my belly, right in here, hit the side of the counter. Like I, like it smushed my stomach and like, but it hurt so bad that it could have created like a bruise, um, which did not feel good at all. So I went to go lay down and. I noticed that I was feeling like less heat of movement. I laid down for like two hours and I'm just like, what's going on in there? So I got up, went to the bathroom, kind of like pushed my belly around and just to see if I can get her to move around and nothing much. So I was like, okay, she normally gets going when I go drink water, eat something cold. So I was like, let me go give me an ice cream bar. So I did and I ate the ice cream bar. And then my friend came over and she gave me like some chocolate bars or something like that. And then I had three dates. Um, her husband made me a smoothie. Um, I had water. I took my vitamins, all of that. And I got like a few, you know, taps from Baby Girl on the inside of my stomach. So that was a little bit relieving, but again, not 10 movements in two hours. You know, if you're counting kicks, that's what they want. 10 movements in 10 hours. So, but after I got those kicks, it kind of like relaxed me a little bit, I guess. So I went to go lay down again. And when I would lay down, I went to sleep. Um, I went to sleep for about four or five hours. throughout the night I just couldn't really get into a deep sleep I'm like where are you like this is normally the time where you're like showing out right when I lay down after I eat all this stuff and still nothing so I'm going to like grand delivery just because I'm paranoid I'm paranoid now I need to know what's going on with my baby if she's all right then we can go home um, if they feel like she's in distress or anything like that, you can take her out. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Today, I am 37 weeks, three days, and baby is measuring like 39 weeks. So, I think that she will be fine. Um, but to physically know that she's okay and see her will make me feel so much better and hear her heartbeat would make me feel so much better. I had a Doppler, my toddler broke it. So normally I would just use that to ease my mind, but I can't check it. So I'm gonna get myself together and I'm gonna go to labor and delivery so I can check on her. And I will check back in with you guys. sitting here nothing that is like consistent but baby looks okay I'm so tired 
I don't know. It's currently like three something, four in the morning. Um, but heart rate looks good. Contractions are fine. I'm not having any pain. Um, she's moving here and there. Not nothing that's like super significant, but her heart rate really looks good. So I'm just waiting to see if it's something that they want to do as far as like an ultrasound. Um, or a blood work or a fluid, I don't know. So, it's all a waiting game. Sitting in triage. Just me. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep you guys up to date. Look at Kenya's stupid self. <laughs> Look at a damn thing. Kenya, what is, girl? If I don't see it, I'll be alright. <laughs> that was too high up, girl. Yeah. And this is all my, all my walking help. All right, y'all. That was good. That was good. Uh, my biggie big just got all my stuff together. My tea. I use this tea instead of the other lemon verbena. But, but when you look at the ingredients, it has lemon verbena leaf in it. So I use that one. I use this juice because I can not find apricot. So I use orange mango. And I use this castor oil. And what else? Biggie big, big. fat ass, skinny ass, shitty ass. Okay, and they're all my support, you guys. This is the. I'm lean. I'm not Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, they're my support. I'm about to drink the midwives brew, and I'm so nervous. Okay. Probably. And let it run. And clear it out. Let it run. <laughs> you know what? I'm about to drink it all in this one sitting. You need to. No, I'm not. Like, because you said 30 minutes. Another one? You got this. You got it long hair. I don't care. We finished. Me, Kiyo. I wonder if I should just start drinking it. And then, because if it's nasty, it's going to come out. So maybe I should cut it as well. Just press them across the hall. You got it. You got it. This is your favorite smoothie from Jarrell. Just to juice it up. Don't try to take the taste. Just try to go down as Look much as that. you can. There you go. There you go. Good, job. Good, job. Good 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 job. Just take you a big go. I'll be Just ask me to move in. Get this on camera. This straw is too long. It's taking too long to suck it up. Suck so fast. Mm -hmm. Give us a show. Show us how you do it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to put my mouth up because when you let my nose go, bitch, it's over. I got your cookie, remember? It's I over. Like, I'm telling you. I can't really spin it. When you let my nose go, it's over. I'm basically just spinning it constantly and taking it.
Oh, yeah. It's in there. You're doing really good. That's a long ass straw. Came from knots. Oh. Good job, honey. Mm hmm. Hey, back up. I'm, okay, I'm that's a good one. Good job, honey. Good job. Good job. Good 
job, honey. Stay still. Stay still. Good job, honey. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, honey. Transit, one last one. you guys she is five centimeters when she got here we don't know where she is I'm thinking she's probably at a seven eight yeah I think she how he know that okay you need to touch me yeah um but maybe she's at a seven I hope she's at a nine actually like right now, I hope she's at a nine already and it's time to go. Hi, mommy, Grammy. I said, hi, Grammy. She want to look up, y'all. She hated it. <laughs> yes, I'm cold. Hi. It's me. Mickey is doing so good, you guys. She's doing she wasn't she really was she just they were her contractions were really bad but she was pushing through them she was like amazing she's like a warrior you guys this could not be me because i would be screaming she is she was so good all right girl that was too much going on i couldn't listen to you um but we they were bad they were and i was on that pitocin when they got worse because I had not but yeah y'all um that's where we are baby is looking good she's ready to come y'all baby is ready to come she'll probably be getting checked what time do we make it here like at six so she may be getting checked in the next hour or so she still can feel her contractions but there is more of pressure like towards the you know the area um but they're not as bad. They're not as strong. She's already had an epidural. I can't remember if I said that, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, Ashley's texting you too. Okay, y'all, but that's where we are. She's having a contraction right now. You see the warrior? She's doing really, really good. She, uh, how was she? Doing good, honey. Get on over here if you're coming.
guys, we did something. Look what we did. Look what I made. Look what I made. And look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at that girl. Look at that precious little girl. Look, oh, look at that girl. Yeah. Look at that girl. That's mommy girl. Mommy girl is a big girl. She likes to eat. Don't you? You like to eat. Okay, I'm trying to get you on the other side. Peacefully. Why don't you beat me up? Relax, Funkin. You told me to, but I know. I know what I did. I struggle with this side, that's why I need that pillow from the car. You know, let me struggle on this side. Oh, my stomach. I think just like that. Hey, Mama. Let's 
giving us a hard time in there, girl. Yeah. No, they're just my mom now. All right, guys, I don't know if it's the camera or what, but my face looks weird. I don't know, but I wanted to come on here with a quick update because I feel like I haven't updated you guys at all. But it's discharge day. It's time to go. My baby's ready and I'm ready. Um, so I had her yesterday at 10 10 a.m she was seven pounds five ounces and she was 19.5 inches she came at 37 weeks six days um and she came so fast i started going into labor at two o'clock in the morning laid back down got back up at three i start contracting at two o'clock same thing going into labor then um, I lay back down because they weren't consistent and I could still sleep through them. Got back up around three, a little bit worse, but I could still get a little bit of rest. Around 4.30, a contraction woke me up and I was like, okay, that's it. And so I got up and they were coming back to back every two to three minutes. And um, I got dressed, I got my kids together um pack the car and um i mean this is like a rushed story but you know i headed to the hospital by the time i got here parked got out the car water broke felt it trickling down my leg i'm like okay contractions were like i wouldn't say unbearable like i'm screaming in the parking lot but definitely can't talk can't stand and you kind of gotta just get in the zone and then every contraction after everyone ended i started walking again headed to labor and delivery um and when i got to labor and delivery she knew as soon as they saw me they were like we're just gonna put her straight in the room we I skipped over triage and everything so they put me straight in the room and um i was getting you know all my paperwork all this stuff together to get admitted and all of this stuff and by the time she checked me i was about five centimeters by the time I got my epidural, which was like an hour later, I was seven centimeters. So about two hours after that, uh, maybe even less, <laughs> maybe even less, probably like an hour after that, um, she checked me and was like, she's complete. So at that point I was just sitting around waiting for baby to just you know come down more towards like the opening of my vagina but i was already complete she could feel the head see the head but she was like we're just waiting on the doctor so do not push by the time the doctor came i pushed for maybe about 10 minutes or so and she was here so from 2 to 10 o'clock 2 a.m to 10 10 is when exactly she was born from that in those eight hours everything just went very quickly and she is finally here so i want you guys to meet my little bundle of joy she's so small well she's small to me there's the tiniest little head <laughs> did you keep scratching yourself 
And she loves her Patsy. Oh, you guys. Meet Mrs. Kiori. Look at her. She's so tiny. Mm. And I just love her so much. So much. You guys, she was sucking on her hands in the womb. Look at her. Looks like a zombie. And she created these marks on her hands, which I don't like because I don't like that she was hurting herself, even though she don't know that. <laughs> but anyways, we're headed out, so I will have to just keep continuing to update you guys from this point on. But I am just in awe. I'm so happy to have her. Ooh. She's just the best thing ever. She smells like heaven, like literally. And all she wants to do is eat. <laughs> eat, 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 eat. So I'm gonna take a couple pictures of her and then we're gonna head out. We're gonna in the car. She passed all of her tests with flying colors. And we've been here for 24 hours. 28 at this point. It's time to go. One day. One day. I love it. I love it. That just lets me know that she's super he healthy. She passed her job test, newborn screening, hearing test, all of it. All of it. So she is a warrior. Alright, you guys. I'll keep you updated. We love you.